Oscar Wilde said that in, for him, the theater was the greatest of all art forms because it's the, it's the only art form where you can actually see art being created and be part of that creation. And it's live. There's the emotional connection that you don't get with looking at a TV screen or looking at a movie screen. You're seeing live people. It's a magical moment you get under the lights. You're lost in your character. It's just a magical time. Buffalo's theater offerings absolutely world-class. Buffalo is kind of uh, astonishing for the amount of theater there is. We have at any moment anywhere between 18 and 25 professional theaters in operation. Whether it's children's theater or it's a Jewish theater or it's Irish theater or classical theater or gay theater or open-air theater, you name it, Buffalo has it to offer. It's an extraordinary diversity. The choices are so interesting and so varied. You can find it's something that'll be political and thought inspiring. You can find a comedy. You could find a musical, definitely. A boy like that will kill your brother. I don't know where else you find that kind of variety unless you go to New York City or London or Paris. Buffalo, it's extraordinary. And the fact that like the theater district is located like in the heart of Buffalo, and there's everything else surrounding it. There's the theaters, there's the great food, there's the hotels, there's everything for anybody who's coming into Buffalo to experience all at once in this epicenter. And it's, it's accessible and it's just absolutely fantastic. There is a very rich theatrical tradition here. We didn't come out of it nowhere. We didn't suddenly pop up. At the terminus of the Erie Canal, to entertain people coming through this city, minstrel shows were invented. The public here develops a taste for live entertainment, an expectation that going out is something that you would do. This was one of the strongest cities in the entire vaudeville circuit. It was very, very famous as a tryout town for Broadway. So national tours of shows that were destined, hopefully, to get to Broadway, they would always go via Buffalo. If you made it to Buffalo and you succeeded in Buffalo, it was like you're set to go to New York, you're good to go. I think one of the reasons for the phenomenon of the extraordinary uh, growth of theatre in Buffalo is, is the number of third level in, uh, educational institutions and colleges. The presence of a strong theatre department at the University of Buffalo, at Buff State, at Brockport, at Fredonia, at Niagara. Some of them stay here and, and get initial experience working with the theatres in Buffalo. And others go, truthfully, they go to LA, they go to Chicago, they go to New York. And after several years of washing dishes and waiting tables, they say, you know, I really went into the theatre arts to be a practitioner, to direct, to design, to act. And the place you can do that is Buffalo, so naturally they come back to the real mecca of theatre, Buffalo, New York. There's so many possibilities in this city, and, and we attract extraordinary talent. I think there are people doing world-class work in Buffalo that could do what they're doing here anywhere. The community of theatre artists is really extraordinary. I feel blessed to be a part of it. There is definitely a sense of camaraderie among the theatrical community. People have made a commitment to be here and to work here, and th there isn't this sense of competitiveness. That's one of the main reasons that I came back to Buffalo from New York. Uh, it's something that I think is definitely unique to Buffalo. Theatre Alliance of Buffalo represents now 23 or 24 professional theatre companies and we meet once a month, we share props, we share costumes, we share ideas, we share personnel. They all come together in a real sense of integration. And that, if you like, is a, is a microcosm of what the greater Buffalo community is like. This is Shea's Buffalo. Opened in 1926. It has 3,000 seats, and a Broadway producer can come here and, and pull in a million and a half dollars in a week. Right now, this is the single most lucrative week in the American theater here. Shays showcases the old, glamorous style of what the theater used to be. 
And then right across the street, you have the Irish Classical, which is a theater in the round, you know, black box of sorts. To sit in the first row of the Irish Classical Theater with actors inches away from you can draw you in only in the way that that kind of live performance can. The oldest theater in Buffalo is over in the old Polish neighborhood where the bar serves the full line of Polish beers. But in the back, the most avant-garde theater you can see in the United States of America. Astonishing, Torn Space Theater. They're very visual, they're very minimalist. You go to the Torn Space and you will have an experience that is certainly on par with and possibly better than the experience that you would have at any theater, even in New York City, avant-garde, cutting edge, surrealist, ultra-challenging theater. If you go into Delaware Park on a summer night, there will be 3,000 people on a hill in a park, sitting on blankets, watching Shakespeare. At that moment when the sun goes down and the stage lights take over, suddenly this beautiful park transforms itself into an Elizabethan theater. And the ambience really has to do with a city coming together from every corner of the city to have this communal experience. is an incredible experience. Curtain Up is the annual inaugural citywide celebration that ushers in the beginning of the theater season. The whole of Buffalo society comes out. It's a landmark date in, in Buffalo's calendar. It's kind of like a local Mardi Gras for theater artists and theater patrons. And uh, man, it's a blast. It is a good time. I like me some Curtain Up. We are just building up ahead of steam. We are beginning to approach a, a tremendous fever pitch of productivity and incredible high quality and interest and diversity and really cool theater that you won't see anywhere else in North America. People thought that radio would kill it, that movies would kill it, that TV would kill it. They think that Netflix would kill it, and it won't. The theater, like Buffalo itself, endures.